5B, and this is text amendment 2024-02, Mr. Dillard. Yes, sir. You see here on your screen a history of some of the recent text amendments starting in 2015 and then picking back up again in 2023 and 2024. Uh, you'll notice on this one we are looking to change some of the definitions, the types of variances, and some of the signage uh, going forward, as well as some engineering design standards. Amendment 1 deals with quite a few things, but ultimately it's aimed at not allowing any side that are set back being less than eight feet. Most of these sections you see here have influence on how uh, setback could be reduced, and staff is of the opinion, uh, along with county leadership, that eight feet is the minimum we feel comfortable going with, so therefore these amendments address no less than eight feet side yard setbacks. Anything less than that would have to go to a planned development, which you, the board, would have to hear and approve at that time. But this is the standard for staff and uh, applicants to move forward with. Text Amendment 2 deals with how we deal with text amendments, uh, essentially removing the planning commission from the official process and adding uh, just the word text here to the line. Essentially any uh, text amendments going forward will be presented by staff, planning commission, home builder association, stakeholders, chamber, things like that will be contacted as a courtesy through uh, just a standard email of any potential sit down meetings. Uh, but th and this amendment just simply allows us to move forward uh, with text amendments in a, in a little more expeditious manner. Amendment 3, dealing with duplicate definitions. All of these definitions are found in the Appendix A, which deals with land disturbance. These definitions are included in the ULDC Chapter 1, but again, having no bearing on the ULDC itself. Uh, in any other context, staff feels it's appropriate to remove them from the ULDC de definitions. Amendment 4 dealt with signage. Uh, there were some recent changes in state law that went into effect July 1st. Uh, so staff is recommending we hold off on any changes to signage until we can work to make sure that uh, the ULDC is in line with state law and federal law regarding signage. Number five, again, this is, this is some more formatting of bold versus capital, uh, similar to Amendment 6, which really just changes some reference in, in how we uh, talk about the ZBOA. It originally it was defined as ZBA, commonly called ZBOA, and therefore decided just to go ahead and change it. Amendment 7, this is the design standard that's adopted by the International Fire Code. Again, making cul-de-sacs 96 feet. Currently, the ULDC is at 80. Now, engineering has recommended 100 feet just to help with overall design and construction. So, if we get, go from the 90, from the 80 to the 100 feet, this is how it would play out in the ULDC in section 60102, primarily around the cul-de-sacs. So, there's the updated uh, design distances. And then we had originally talked about some utilities connections, which you see here. That amendment was pulled. There was quite a few questions about how we require connection to our county utility system. Uh, and staff had more questions and answers this time and recommended uh, just with pulling that one right now. So we'll bring it back for future consideration. But overall, again, Planning Commission heard all the uh, recommended uh, uh, changes to the ULDC and the vote unanimously to recommend approval. Though staff is working, again, as we've mentioned, with county leadership to only recommend approval of one, two, three, six, and seven at this time. One, two, three, six, and seven. Yes, sir. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Dillon? All right. We'll move on now to 